Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farm Manager 2021. And in our recent video, we dealt with the brand new smokehouse. We added some more uh, cow enclosures, this time the large enclosures, whereas we had used the small ones when we first got our farm started way back at the beginning of the series. But we added a slaughterhouse, a couple of smokehouses, and we are now selling uh, the smoked beef. You can see the error message is here saying, hey, we don't have enough of anything. I'm not sure why. I know we're on fast forward, but they are running through this beef extremely quickly. In fact, I would argue too quickly. It just doesn't quite seem right. But for right now, we're going to move on to something else. We're going to try to let that sort itself out. Uh, but I notice our research is done. So we need to hop back in and do the final sales training and then after that only 14 days for that so it'll be done really quick after that uh we'll get started with we're gonna have to come back to this but today what i want to do is something else that we talked about that was part of the most recent update and that is a couple more production buildings so we talked about some new production buildings we've got our mill which is going to turn grain into flour and then right over here, we've got our bakery, which is going to use that flour and looks like for the most part, turn that into bread. So that's what I want to deal with now. But in order to do that, we are going to need something for the mill to turn into flour. So let's go ahead and use, uh, let's use wheat. Let's go ahead and do a brand new field. However, this is where I want to start to have a little bit more fun with this entire process. So I need to come back to our uh, farm owner's house. Right now we have a medium house, but we can upgrade this for, looks like, what is that, 100 grand? Uh, we're at almost 9 million, so 100 grand is nothing. But you notice the pop-up message. It's now gonna give us a new maximum field size of 100 by 100. That's what I want. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have a large farm owner house, and that is the last upgrade that we can do. So now we have access to the biggest field that we can possibly get. Uh, and where do we want to put this? I think what I'm going to do is this is not in keeping with anything that we've done so far. I'm just going to make a dividing line here. And uh, we've got some more room over here to deal with chickens and probably some more smokehouses and, and whatnot over here, slaughterhouses and the like. But we'll deal with that in this is existing area. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of this land for new fields. And we'll just see how all of that works. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Let's go ahead for now. All right, let's just make a dividing line. We'll put all of our... Uh, storage and necessary buildings for housing and whatnot in those areas. Okay, so let's do a new field. All right, what is 100 by 100? Of course, we can't even get that big. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that we're so close. This is 100 by 96. Let's do it. That is absolutely monstrous. Absolutely monstrous, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So we didn't quite have enough room for the 100 by 100. Uh, oh, we're, we're done with training too. That is absolutely huge. I cannot believe how big that is. All right, let's see what we want. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Increase rate of production. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just try to finish up some of these at... Uh, as we get to them that uh, can help us and of course increasing the production rate is always going to be useful now what do we want to do with this particular field uh, let's plant uh, barley might not be bad but what I really want is let's get wheat let's get wheat and uh, let's see, what are you telling me right now? All right, all the things that we need. All right, first things first. Um, I need an employee. So let's go ahead and grab an employee. What's this guy doing? 
Oh, that's right. We we hired uh, an additional employee for this. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hire another one. And what we want here are people who are good with the machines, preferably also... No, nah, I really don't see it. All right, that'll work, though. That's fine. Uh, it says 18. I assume that's the nearest one. 18, yeah. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Okay, so now we have three employees. Oh, and they're already working it. Boy, that's what I love about uh, these employees. You can see Joshua is already working. Now, I need to make sure we do not want manual work. Just use the machines, and I believe we've already done that for our other employees. Okay, so I think we're good to go there. But you can see right now we are doing the plowing, then they'll do cultivating, they'll do the seeding, and which reminds me, we need to buy some wheat seed. At least I think we do. Uh, who knows, they might purchase it automatically, but I'm going to go ahead and buy some. It, it doesn't cost all that much. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, the wheat seed. Is that buckwheat? Yeah, that's the buckwheat. So we want the wheat. And let's go ahead and do... We'll just go ahead and do five grand. Okay, it's going to cost us 11000 and storage should not be an issue. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. What else is it saying that we need? Uh, the Riga tractor... Do we want to purchase another one of those? It looks like we probably already got pretty much everything we need up front. Yeah, all of that we've already got. Sprayers. All right, so what do we need? We need a we need a combine. We need the Xena combine and the Reaper. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what storage do we have left? Do we have any left in here? Uh, not really. All right, this one is empty. So we got a little bit of room there, uh, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get what we need. Let's go ahead and get the combine, the Xena combine. And can we buy this? Oh, it is gonna fit in there, in that garage. That's awesome. Um, well, it says it's going to. Yep, it's inside. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, our mechanic is here. So yeah, we're perfectly fine there. He'll, he'll take care of that. So now we've got our combine. Let's go ahead and put down... Uh, where the garage we need... Let's see, where do we want to go here? I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and do this. Because I'm thinking this will give us some more employee area here. So let's go ahead and put down like that. Go ahead and put that down. Okay, good. So it looks like uh, we want to add irrigation for sure. 96 grand. Yikes, that is expensive. Okay, awesome. Uh, where are... Alright, so he is... It says he's fertilizing? Seriously? Or about to be? Yeah, yes indeed. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, he's fertilizing, and then he's going to plant. Okay. Oops. Let's come back out. Uh, we need to get a header. I know we need that. Uh, Reaper for cereals, that's the one we wanted. Is that the biggest one? Uh, looks like we could get the 9 meter, but we'd have to get the, yeah, the bigger combine. And we'll go with the one that it suggested. And we'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, and we'll put it in here. And yikes, okay, this is going to take a little bit of room. And since it doesn't really seem to matter, I've been trying to have it where it hooked up properly, but let's just go ahead and try it this way. It doesn't seem to matter how we put it in there. So I'll simply put it there. 
Uh, what else do we need? And what else? What else? What else? We need a chest trailer and a round. Wait, we a round press? Oh, for the straw. I got you. I got you. I got you. I was thinking there for a second. It's like, did I mess something up and plant grass on this? But no, no, no. We're good. All right. Chest trailer, round press. All right. Let's do that. Round press. Uh, let's get that. Let's put it... Can we not put this... Where is four? Garage three, five. There we go. That's what we want. And we want... Uh, is it under tools? I bet we need that trailer for straw bales as well. I just haven't looked at it yet. We got the round press. We got... Alright, let's just go see if we need that trailer. Trailer for straw bales and chest trailer. Okay. Alright, chest trailer. Let's go ahead and buy that. And can we put it in five? Yes, we can. Alright, awesome. All right, we need another one of these. And, wow, that's way too zoomed in. Okay, there we go. We'll turn that one around. And let's come back out here and just... Trailer for straw bales. That is going to be a big trailer. Wow. So, yeah, we can't put that inside. Okay. Okay. Parking, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So we'll put it right there. If anything has to be parked outside, that should be it. You can see that we're taking a little bit of uh, damage on those. All right, how are we doing on our field? Okay, it looks like we're done with the, the fertilizing. Now we need to plant. Now again, all of this is terrible timing. I mean, <laughs> we just cannot have worse timing. In fact... These guys may just not do it. That may be what they do. They may just say, no, we're not doing that. Uh, this season, since it's so late, in fact, I'm hoping that's what they do. But as I've mentioned before, the purpose of this gameplay is not to make everything ultra efficient. Uh, we're just enjoying just seeing what the game has to offer. So what I'm going to do right here is we're going to put down another field. And I've already hit the wrong button. There we go. And this is going to be our next field. So what is that? 88 by 96. All right, that's perfect. That works for me. That is no issue whatsoever. And I think let's just go wheat on this as well. Let's go wheat on that. And let's see. Everything... Uh, I'm going to want to purchase... Let's go ahead and extend out here. Let's get some more storage because obviously we're going to need that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see, we're still okay with employee storage. Yeah, we still got plenty of room over here. I'm going to hire another person. Now, this isn't the most efficient use. Uh, oh, machines right there on top. Okay, awesome. Okay, so that, let's see, let's get Alex in there. So now that's going to give us four employees for three fields. I think we're okay. All right, we're going to need some electricity here. All right, no problem. We'll take care of that. Let's see, where do we want to put this? I'm thinking right there. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Uh, let's do that. And that. Okay, so that's going to give us some more storage because what I want to do is purchase. You guys that have watched me play Farming Simulator, you guys know one of my joys in any of these games is getting to purchase equipment. I absolutely love it. 
We're going to get another of the Riga tractor. And we're going to go ahead and buy that. Uh, 36 grand, again, not an issue. Uh, let's put it... Let's go ahead and put it right here. In uh, number seven. Okay, that'll give us two tractors. Anything else we might need? Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of plows. Do we need a couple of plows? I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking, why not? Uh, so as a matter of fact, let's just see. What does it recommend for a plow? The lily plow? All right, lily plow it shall be. Okay, again, we're not worried about used. Let's go ahead and buy this. We're going to put it... And let's go to put it again. I just want to have some equipment uh, available as necessary. All right, the cultivator. Let's go ahead and get the Esther cultivator. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. There it is. We're going to buy that and put it. Okay, that gives us two of those. Uh, all right. And did they ever plant? No, they did not. So they're smarter than me. They knew the, the time of year it is, and it's about to turn that way. So they did all the prep work on the field. So they did the plowing, the cultivating, and the fertilizing. So whenever next spring comes around, they'll be ready to seed and then go on about their business. Uh, in the meantime, one thing I want to do is we're going to continue this going. We're going to continue this going. And I am not going to... Let's see... <laughs> There we go. I'm not going to mess with that camera any more than I have to. All right, so let's get a little bit more storage because I want to get two of everything uh, as, for the most part. All right, let's see. Fertilizer, that doesn't take very long. I'm not worried about that. The seed drill, yeah, let's go ahead and get two of those. Let's get two of seed drill by that and let's do eight there we go uh, while I'm thinking about it let's do irrigation okay awesome so the fertilizing doesn't seem to take very long however However, where are we here with the fertilizer? That is the fertilizer spreader. We might as well go ahead and just keep going with this. Our money is not going down. There we go. Let's go ahead and just buy that. Uh, put it over here in number eight. Oh, there we go. How about that? Only needed one for that. Okay, what's next? Uh, I'm not going to worry about the trailer with water. We don't need that. Uh, sprayer, I'm not going to worry about that. That's not going to be all that often that they'll need that. Uh, do we want to get a couple of combines? I'm thinking we do. Because why not? Yeah, let's go ahead and get a couple of another combine. We didn't already get two of those, did we? We just got two tractors, right? Yeah, we didn't get two combines. How much room are we going to have left in here? Uh, not quite enough because we got this uh, fertilizer spreader. That's all right. So let's go ahead and put another building out. And we'll put that one there. And before I forget, let's go ahead and connect this up. Okay, awesome. So we need another tractor. We want the Riga. In fact, what's the difference here? This is a little bit bigger one. Uh, we'll stick with the Riga for now. Um, but I really want to get one of these bigger <laughs> ones. I really do. Okay, let's stick with the Xena for this. And we're going to put this in... Uh, actually, we're going to put it in 8. Uh, well, I thought we were. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we don't have enough room in there. Why did it even let me to select that? We're going to put that one in here. All right, awesome. 
And then, of course, we're going to need uh, a header for the Xena. So we'll grab that. And this one, I think we can put in here. We'll put it in sideways, which doesn't make a lot of sense in here, but we're going to do that. All right, so now, out of everything that we need, let's just take a quick glance here. Everything, all the field work is done, and you can see, not a moment too soon, as winter is starting in how many days? 11 days. Okay, really, the, the things we have left to do, as far as our purchases, would be uh, the bailing. Uh, so let's go ahead. I mean, we might as well. I mean, we've come this far. We might be able to get by with just one more of these. Yeah, I think we're okay there. I mean, we've got a lot of these storage buildings, and that makes me happy because that means I've been able to uh, get. What do we need? We've got a home here with no people in it, and that's okay because we might very well need that in the future. But for right now, we're not worried about it. Uh, looks like we're also done with our training or about to be done with our research. There we go. Let's hop in here and see what's next. All right, warehouse management, not worried about that. We are not running out of space anytime soon. What do, what do we have over here? The price of land, all right, not really worried about that. Durability for machines, now that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, but that is not a huge concern. All right, seasonal workers, we're not worried about that. 5% cheaper. Again, all of these are good. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do these. Probability of disease is reduced by 10%. Okay, I'll take that. That'll help out uh, with the animals for sure. So I like that. All right, yep, that's perfectly fine. Looks like winter is, yeah, in a couple of days. So we're going to get the option to go ahead and skip through the winter. Uh, although I'm not terribly sure that we're going to need to, or want to, for that matter. Uh, yep, there we go. All right, so we've got, it's talking about repairing. Yep, we're good to go there. We've got our guy who will take care of all of that. And I don't think we're overloading him. I don't think so. However, our mechanics garage. I'm going to go ahead and put another one down. Where is... And I'm going to put him right there. Just to make sure. Again, we've got money coming out of our ears right now. So there's no reason to really skimp on any of this. Uh, we might as well just have fun with it and buy all the stuff we want. So let's go ahead and buy some more stuff. So we know we're going to need another round press. Uh, let's buy and put that in. Where was that? Let me... No, it does need two. Okay, so I'll put it... Okay, we can't put it in either one of those. Okay, so we'll put it in here. Okay, round press there. And so we're going to need a couple of trailers. All right, the trailer for the straw bells as well as the chest trailer. And no, I cannot remember all of these. I got too much stuff going through my head. All right, trailer for the straw bells. Uh, do, well, we don't even have enough room for that. I tell you what, I'm going to hold off on that because I remember it has to be parked outside. So the chest trailer we do have enough room for. We're good on it. So we'll simply... We'll park it in there because if I par if I purchased that, well, I was going to have to do it over here, uh, and I don't have room for that right now. Okay, so let's spin this thing around, and okay, so far so good. Okay, I like it. We've got two huge fields of wheat, and I mean huge fields of wheat. Uh, so that means we're going to need some storage. For all of that. Uh, so where are we going to put that? Uh, we're going to do warehouses. And... Hmm. I think because I'm going to go ahead and do this. Because remember, we're going to do production buildings as well. Uh, so we've got... Let's go ahead and do a large silo. 
And where do I want to put that? The question is, where do I want to put our production buildings? Because my guess, let's see, without looking, uh, what do we put in here? Well, I don't see that, I mean, we're not going to put, the straw we can put in there. So we'll use one of these. We know we're going to need a silo. And I'm going to go ahead and put a warehouse there as well. I'm going to go ahead and put all three of these in the area. And then the production buildings. How big is the mill? Okay, let's put... Yeah, again, this is really going to mess up our uh, layout here. I can't put it... Nope, can't put it down there. Okay, not quite enough room. I could go over here and and put it like something like that that would be across the street uh, but we've already got yeah we've already got a warehouse here as well as this I could put down a silo and we'd be good to go there that's not a bad idea uh, it means they've got to go a little distance I don't like for them to have to go quite that far I mean granted it's just a little ways away but I think we can make that work I think we can make it work uh, at least we're gonna find out all right so the warehouses let's go ahead and put a large one uh, can I put it right you are just not going to like me at all are you you just because I don't want to put it right here because I'm going to put my production buildings there and I really really wanted to put it right there like really wanted to put it there. Okay, so I guess we'll just go, we'll put it there. And this is just really messing up our grid now. <laughs> so we might as well just embrace it at this point. So we've got room for some more storage here if we need it. Uh, we've got our storage there. Let's go ahead and bring our road down. And see, I was able to keep the grid going right there. Not the maximal use of land, but we got it. All right, now production. I'm going to need the mill. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, and then on the other side, right up to the edge here, please tell me, that the bakery oh yeah oh yeah yeah we're good here now it's going to mess up our grid uh let's see yeah let's just go ahead and put it right next door right across the street okay so we've got storage nearby and let's go ahead and put Let's go ahead and put a logistics building. Let's drop this in here. And we'll just call this sort of done in this area. Uh, and we'll call this area done. Again, we're using a one-to-one -one ratio. Doesn't necessarily be there. We've got housing for our employees right here nearby. Uh, could be a little closer, but it's there. Okay, so we've got cake. From the bakery, what does the cake need? Oh my goodness, we got all sorts of stuff we need for this. What about bread? Rye bread, wheat bread. All right, wheat. All right, let's go ahead and change the production here. All right, so we've got, I mean, look at all of this stuff. So this is where you really get into more complex stuff. I mean, I think we've already got all of this. Yeah, so we're going to make the flour, the eggs, and the milk, yeah, we've, we've got all of this. We need to adjust some things that we're selling in the marketplace. So we've got pasta there. You need some eggs and some flour. Yeah, this is good stuff here. I like this a lot. All right, so for wheat bread, we just need wheat flour. So for right now, let's just do that. Let's not mess with anything else we're selling with our eggs and our milk. And let's just do wheat bread. There's also, what was it, rye bread... And, okay, that's it as far as the breads. 
So we're going to do that. We need, wow, four people in there. Okay. And then four people in here. So wheat. All right, what else can we do in here? So we know we're going to use the wheat. So we can do rye. And what else? Corn. Okay, for corn flour. That makes perfect sense there. And what else do we have? Linseed from flax. Okay, we can do that in here. We can turn oats into oatmeal. Makes sense. Okay, a lot of this stuff. All right, I like it. All right, so we're just going to choose the wheat. All right, I'm sure we we don't have electricity. All right, we need staff, of course. Do we have electricity? Uh, yeah, we do. Holy cow! I didn't. I had no idea we were quite that efficient with our electricity. I'm pretty happy. Okay, so we need some people. So let's go ahead and use this facility. So we need manufacturing on all of this. So that's we're just going to get all of the manufacturing we can get. And I'm just going to keep hiring these guys as long as they're in here until it tells me that I am out of room. Okay, and there it was. Okay, that didn't really take too long. And thankfully, we were able to get everything we needed at one time. Okay, so we're, we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and get all of these guys maxed out. I mean, you can see, as we continue to expand out, I think we just did Toby, yeah. As we continue to expand out, the whole idea of the market demand really shouldn't be an issue because you have a ton of choices. And I mean a ton of choices for things to make and sell. And as we've found out today, here recently with uh, our production buildings, with the mill and so forth, it gets ever more complex. So yeah, you've got a lot of options. And realistically, I don't think the market demand should ever be an issue unless, as we talked about yesterday, uh, it's all about specialization. If you specialize and just produce an absolute ton of a certain thing, of one thing, and just specialize entirely on your farm for that, then yeah, you're going to put too much out there, no doubt. But uh, other than that, you should be perfectly fine, I would think. Because in our case, we're really hitting the market with a lot of different products. I mean, a lot. We've got meat. We've got frozen foods. We've got milk. We've got eggs. We've got, I mean, you name it, we've got it. And of course, we've got our wind farm here, which is awesome. But right now... Uh, let's see, we've got everything needed. Of course, these guys are going to be griping because they don't have any uh, wheat, which, of course, that's what they're griping about. But I'm hoping we can get enough. Again, I don't know what the yields will be. Uh, I have not studied field sizes and yields for various uh, crops because that's not really what we're about here in this series. We're about having some fun with this. So I'm hoping that we'll have enough from every harvest that we can store it in this huge silo and that will keep us going uh, in these two produ uh, production buildings throughout the winter time. And so basically it, we will be able to get enough out of each year's harvest that will be good to go. Obviously here I have built these way too early in terms of efficiency because we're not going to have any wheat to go in there for quite some time unless I go out and buy some and I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, again, if money was an issue, we would not have built these for uh, another year. We wouldn't have needed them until after the wheat harvest. Uh, so, and I assume we're only going to get one harvest per year of wheat. If we get more than that, that's, hey, that's awesome for me. But look at what we've been able to accomplish today. So we sectioned off some land. We've got two huge fields. We've got mechanics. We've got storage. We've bought a whole bunch of equipment. We've basically doubled up on most everything that we have for equipment. Uh, we've got how many employees right now? We've got four employees for three fields. In fact, let's just go ahead and hire another one. Should we? I think we should. They're just going to sit around and do nothing probably most of the time. Uh, but 
I'm okay with that. That is not the end of the world. I'm going to go ahead and hire another guy. And Elijah, I want you to be good at machines, and you are not allowed to do manual work. Now, the manual work will come in handy uh, when we get into, if we make it that far in our playthrough uh, with the greenhouses. The greenhouses, everything, obviously they can't really fit tractors and combines into here, so everything has to be done manually. So that's really where that would come into play, but we do not want them doing manual work on these huge fields. That we do not want. Uh, and we're certainly not planning on hiring any seasonal workers. So that means I believe we've got everything we need. Now, we're simply just waiting for winter to end. Uh, we do have the option, of course, to skip by all of that. And we may just do that when we come back next time. But for today, we got a ton accomplished. And I am excited about the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And stick around for more Farm Manager 2021.